Uh -huh. E for Eagle. Uh -huh. N for Nancy. Do you get it? Yes, yes, after that. I for Ink. Uh -huh. E for Eagle. Odenye. Odenye, all right. Odenye. Uh -huh. And do you have any middle initial or any middle name? Oh, my middle name is Akboda. A, A for Alpha. Uh -huh. N for Laptop. Uh -huh. No, sorry. A for Alpha. B for Pink. O for Orange. D for Dog. A for Alpha, Akboda. Akboda, Acha. Akboda, yes. Do you speak for someone else? Like, I can uh, hear that someone speaking uh, that his uh, middle name and you are hearing the same. Do you speak for some other person? I don't understand what you mean. I'm asking you, do you translate someone's voice? No, I'm, you know, I, I'm from Africa, so I can speak my language. I was, you know, I was pronouncing it in my language, Akboda. That's the, that's the way, Akboda, eh? Akboda. The full meaning is Akboda, All right, no worries. Okay. Now, uh, as you can see here in my system, the reason you were contacted today was to inform you regarding some legal enforcement action has been filed on your social security. Le legal what? Uh, as you can see here, the reason you were contacted today was to inform you regarding some legal enforcement action has been filed on your social security. As Le I can see here, the social is found suspicious for... Do you understand me? Yes, I'm understanding you. Yeah, I'm telling you, your social is found suspicious for doing some criminal activities in the state of Texas. That is why you receive a call from our department, all right? Oh, Jesus Christ. So what is what right? are, what am I, what am I being contacted for? What are they contacting me for? You don't need to contact anyone. We will take care of your case, all right? So now what you need to do, I'm going to read out the legal charges which are against your name and I'm going to reveal few confidential details regarding this case, all right? Wait, but before please, that, I'm please. Listen... I hope they won't they won't take me to jail. I, I, I'm not going to put you on jail, all right? Don't you worry. Okay, okay. So now, you, you remember my name, Apoda? Apoda, yes, Apoda. Okay, you can call. Before we move ahead... Sorry? I'm listening. All right, so now, before, yeah, before we move ahead and read out the legal charges, I would like to request you, can just verify me your date of birth? My date of birth is... May. 19, uh -huh. uh -huh. 19, 1954. May 19, 1964. 1954, all right. Yes, May 19, 1954. All right, and could you please verify me the last phone number of your social? You don't have this, you don't have this last phone number? I have all of your information, but as I'm telling you, I need to verify that I'm speaking with the right person. Okay, please give okay, me the give me the one you 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 have, please. I, I can do that, sir. As per Data Protection Act, we are not authorized to give you any information by our end. You need to verify by your side. All right. Look, look, I just need the last one, not you, the whole you, you said you have um, a legal issue for me that I've committed crime. So if I'm yeah. the right person, you should be able to give me the the, the right social security number that is why i'm telling you you need to verify me the last phone number of your social because we are not authorized for doing it right okay what's the name you, you have on your record what's the name you have on your record i'm sorry what's the name you have on your record your name yes okay benga Odenye Akboda. Yeah, Odenye Akboda. Can you just me the So what, 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 what's the number you have against my name? Okay, tell me the charges first, please. 
Uh, see, uh, without verification, we are not authorized or we are not allowed to provide you any kind of information over a phone, all right? I need to verify that I'm speaking with the right person. So can you just verify me the last phone number of your social first? The last phone number? Uh-huh. Well, let me just give you 0419. Zero, I'm sorry, zero? Zero, four, one, nine. All right. So now, Mr. Apple, now listen to me very carefully. The investigation started under your name when we found an abandoned car in the south border of Texas. The making model of the car is Toyota Corolla, 2007 model, white in color, with the number TX4013. The car was lied on the road and the local was reported against the car to be suspicious. And when the local sheriff came for the investigation, they found some blood and drug traces inside of it. And during more investigation, they found... I'm sorry? The car is rented. Yeah, they found the car is rented under your name and on your personal social information. And there is one address linked with the title of the vehicle. The address is 7609 Crushing Avenue, El Paso, Texas, which was rented by the State Rangers Division as the last U.S. Marshal. But unfortunately, there was no one inside of that residence. However, they recovered 22 pounds of cocaine and some documentation from financial institutes. They found what? They found cocaine? Bank, yeah, they found some cocaine and some financial institute documents, such as Chase Bank, Bank of America, USA Bank. Yes, I have an Bank account with Boston. Chase Bank. I'm sorry? I have an account with Chase Bank. You have a bank account with Chase Bank? Yes. All right. So now let me tell you, they found, a bank, uh, they found five different bank accounts, which are in Chase Bank, Bank of America, USA Bank, TD Bank and Wells Fargo. And on those illegally operated banks, there are $240,000 has been wired locally and internationally. How much? That is the only reason. $240,000. That, 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 is, that is... That's the money I'm supposed to use to buy my, my house. I get my NBI from the government recently. You received $240,000 from them? Yes. That's my GB high. You have a bank account with Chase Bank, right? Yes, I have a bank with Chase Bank. All right, and what kind of account do you have in your Chase Bank? That's a checking account. Yes. You only have a checking account? Yes, I have a checking account with them, but I can't remember the second account I have with them. Which, one, which account right, do you have? Please, which can account you do you have? Me? Have you have you taken the money? <laughs> no, no. Can you just tell me what was the approximate dollars you have in your checking account? No, no, I can't give you my approximate dollars. I have my personal account. That's my personal account. You, you want to get into my privacy? I'm going to sue you for that. No. Now, let me tell you why, the re uh, why I'm asking you this question. Because on those illegally operated banks, there are $240,000 has been wired, right? Yes. So at that point, also have a bank account in Chase Bank. So that is why I need to differentiate between your legal bank account and that illegal bank account. So that's okay. why I'm asking you. Can you just tell me how much? What was that how much do you have in the that? illegal account? How much do you have there? Two hundred and forty thousand dollars. Please, how can you send that money to, back to my account? Why do you need to send me? No, it's money my money. It's it's my money. It's my money. And how much money you have in your checking account? I have um like um the last time I checked was in about two hundred and fifty four dollars. Yes, but the the money was taken away from my account. Okay, guys, you know what is going on. Um, my friend just got a call from. Oh my God, what is wrong with these people? Sorry. Guys, this is what is happening. My friend just got a call. Uh, Martin's just got a call from um, these 419 Indian people in the United States. Uh, I think randomly they pick people's number from whatever location they are, either from U.S. or outside the U.S., and they call people to ask them about questions about their accounts and all of that too.
Martins gave his name as Akboda or Denier, and the guy actually wrote that down, and we gave a fake, um, wrong social security number and all of those details that he requested. This is how they deal with people. They get their information and they hike into your account and they take away your money. But because we're from Ijorabadia, like we're from Lagos and Niger, you know, so that's why we're putting on this show to record all of this transaction. Guys, enjoy it because I'm going to return it back to him so that the communication continues, right? You can bring your contributions. Let's see what's going on. And you told me the money's been sent. I never got the money. Okay. Please, how are you going to help me to send the money to my account? Hello, please, how are you going to help me? Hello? Well, that is how they used to call people to take their information and scam them. One of these guys just called me and he's trying to scam me. But I'm intending to scam him to collect the money he said they wired illegally. Please be careful out there. Thank you. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for coming online. Hey, mommy. The guy is going to call back and we'll continue if he calls back. Hello? Oh, can I help you? Yes, I got a missed call from this number, and uh, they were talking to me before from um, Texas. They said I committed a wire fraud of two hundred and forty thousand, but that money is meant for me, and I'm looking at the way they can help me to send it to my cheese account. Hello. Yeah, did you spoke to someone? Yeah, the line got cut off. I was talking to someone before. And the line just got cut off. Who? Oh, what's his name? Oh, he didn't tell me his name. He, he only told me that um, he's calling from um, maybe investigation department. What's your name? My name is Benga Odenye Akboda. I don't know you. Bye bye. Okay, thank you. Oh God, it's oh God, it's like on it. The line got cut off and I tried to call her. This lady spoke with me before. She said, oh, this is investigation department from the blah, 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 social security number. Please be careful out there, please. <laughs> Guys, this is what is happening in the United States of America. And when they try this bullshit with people, they shouldn't go near Niger. No. Yeah, my name is Benga. I was talking to someone here and um, the line got cut off. Okay, you were talking to whom, sir? I don't know his name. I didn't ask of his name, but he told me that they are having some investigation on me, that I, I did some wire fraud on one account. Okay. And they found my car. A car registered in my name, a Toyota. Yeah, white Toyota. Okay. Okay, so uh, just don't need to worry. Uh, can I have your first and last name? My name is Benga. That is G for G for goat, mm -hmm. B for boy, mm -hmm. E for eagle, mm -hmm. E for eagle. You got that? N for Nancy. G for goat, A for alpha, Benga. Then my last name is Odenye. That is O for orange, D for dog, E for eagle, N for Nancy, I for ink, E for eagle, Odenye. Okay. Just hold on one moment. All right, sir. Or do you need do you need my middle name? Uh, no, sir. I, I let me just ask who was talking to you. Okay, thank you. Ben. 
I called back. You know. Multimute. I've already muted. Guys, this is how they try to take people's information and scan. I've already muted the line, so I'm only waiting for them to, to, to continue with me. They get information from you, and they give you a scary information. Hello, scary. Hello? Yeah, why are you disconnect the call? No, you yeah. did. The line disconnect on your hand. I was thinking you don't want to help me. No, 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 no. I'm just to put you on hold for a moment, all right? So can you just tell me what was the approximate dollars you have in your checking account? With I said Chinese I, bank? At Chase Bank now, I have about $245. I was expecting the 240000 $245,000? No, I have $245. But I'm expecting the two hundred and forty one right. yeah. So are you going to help me? Are you going to help me to get the money? Uh, yeah, I'm going to help you. Just hold on. Okay. All right. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to transfer this information to the U.S. Treasury Department. And meanwhile, I'm going to transfer this call to the senior DEA department officer. So he's an authorized person regarding this case, all right? So just hold on for a moment. Okay. Thank you. That was the guy I was talking to. Can you imagine? Thank you online this is officer Shirley Morris from the US Treasury Department how are you doing today I'm doing good and yourself I'm fine sir thank you for asking before proceeding sir could you just spell your name for me please I just gave my name to that officer he's supposed to give yes, you my have, info yes it's G B E N G A correct now the last name is O T A G S G N I E yes Odenye how do you spell your complete name, sir? No, O, O, D, O, D, E, N, I, A, N, I, E, O, D, N, E, then the, la the middle name. Uh -huh. The middle name is Akboda. Akboda, okay. How do you spell your name, sir? It's Akboda. Then... No, no, your first name, how do you spell it? The first name how do you say? is Benga. Benga? Yeah, that is G for gold, B for boy, E for eagle, N for Nancy, G for goat, A for alpha. Benga, okay, not a problem, sir. You have a pen and a paper with you? Yes, I have a pen and paper with me. Uh, write down my name, sir. It's Officer Shirley Morris. Officer what? Sterling Morris. Can you spell your name, please? Morris. Morris? Charlie Morris? Yes. Okay. And who is there with you, sir? Are you alone right now? Or are you there with someone? I'm alone. You're I'm, alone? I'm, I'm, you someone whispering my name. No, I speak my language. That's my language. That's your I, was, language? I was writing it down. I said Morris. That's what I said. I said Morris. <laughs> I was writing it and I said Morris. Write down your badge ID number. Your badge ID number? Yes, it's 46. Hold on, let me get a pen to write it. 46. 15. 4615. 93. 93. It's very close to 419 that I have. As my 0419, my last four digits of social security number. Uh -huh. Okay, go ahead, please. Okay, Mr. Bango? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let me just confirm your date of birth is May 19, 1954, with the social number 0419, right? Correct. And could you please verify me your current zip code, sir? What's your current zip code? My current zip code. You should have that on your record. Yes, sir, but I'm just asking. Which one do you need? Is it the one in El Paso or where? No, no. I need the current 
current one. So that is only the reason I'm asking you. I need the current one. Where are you right now? Well, I'm I'm just um, in Hurston. Help me with the zip code. Do you get it? I said I'm in Hurston. That is H O U. I have the information, sir, but I need the zip code. Then let me let me have the one you have, man. People just get on. I don't have I don't have the zip code of Houston. I need the zip code. Can you give me the zip code? Yes, man. Give me the zip code. That is um what? Seven seven zero zero five. Seven seven zero zero five zip code. Okay, just a minute. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, Mr. Wang, I see over here you have an account in Chase Bank, right? It's a checking account. Yes, I'm expecting the money that was wired into the fake account. I was told. Is it um, a fake account? Which who? Which who? Who asked you to wire that amount? No, 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 no. I didn't wire any amount. I, I'm expecting the money. You know, the person that transferred me to you said um, there's a fake account in my name that they sent okay. in two hundred and forty-one thousand dollars into the account. So okay. what, what I told him is that I'm expecting that money. Two hundred and forty-one thousand was the money I'm expecting from the government. Why the government will give you such a big amount? Oh, that's my GBI money. I wanted to use it to buy home. I, I I'm a veteran. Okay. That is Babala so Uvetu. In, okay, in your Chase account, sir, what is the current balance that you have in your Chase account? Oh, I only have $245. Okay. $245, yes, okay. Yeah. Do you have a debit card with this bank? Yes. Okay. Now, Mr. Bengo, I'd like to tell you that yes. we will be going ahead and suspending your current social security number, okay? Tomorrow, my two officers would be visiting you at your place. When the officers visit you at your place, sir, they will be providing you with your new social security card and also with the paperwork of this case file. Okay, man. If, okay? Yes, ma'am. Now... If we go ahead and suspend your social, sir, the Chase account that you have with $235 would automatically get seized and freezed by the U.S. Treasury Department, okay? That means the amount that you have in your account would be confiscated and you might lose your money, okay? Okay. So, I need to know, like, we have an option over here where you can go ahead and safeguard these funds into a secure government affiliated vouchers, okay? Okay. Now, sure, I need to know, do you know any government stores nearby you, like Walgreens, uh, Dollar General, Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, any, any government affiliated store? Any what? Any government affiliated store? Government like Walgreens. I, I, I think I know Walgreens. Yes, man. Okay. How far is Walgreens from your place? It's not too far. Let me Google it. Um, what do you want me to do in the Walgreens? Okay, Walgreens, well, what you need to do, sir, as you have $245 in your account, okay, you need to convert these funds into your safety vouchers. Because if we go ahead and suspend your social, automatically your account would be seized and freezed. The amount that you have in your account would be confiscated, and you might lose that amount. But as you How am I going to pay my rent if I lose that amount? I might go to pay my rent. That's what I'm trying to tell you, sir. That's what I'm trying to tell you. First, listen to me, okay? Okay. Now, as you're a law abiding citizen, sir, and you're cooperating with the department, we have an option where you can secure these funds, okay? Wait, you wait, wait, have wait. To give these I'm not a citizen of U.S. I'm not a citizen of U.S. yet. 
I know so you're not a citizen of US. That is the reason I'm telling you. This is only the process where we can go ahead and save your fund. In this way, you might, you won't be losing any of your money, okay? Tomorrow when the officers would be coming to you or to meet you at your place, okay? okay. They would be giving your cash. They would be giving your cashier check of three hundred dollars. No, the what about what about the two hundred and forty-one thousand? That's what I'm trying to tell you, sir. Okay. The amount that you convert today, two hundred and forty-five dollars. Okay, you have to convert those amounts into safety government vouchers. When you convert those amounts, you have to keep the vouchers with you. Tomorrow, when the officers come, they are they would be just scanning the barcode of the vouchers and providing you with a cashier check of three hundred dollars. Okay. Three hundred dollars. How much would they? So, how much check would they give me? They won't be giving you three hundred dollars. Now you need to understand, okay? You would be just converting to forty-five dollars, but tomorrow you would be getting three hundred dollars. That means you can pay your rent, you can buy your groceries, you can do anything with, with the extra fifty-five dollars, okay? Why are you getting this fifty-five dollars? It's just because you are cooperating with the department. That is only the reason. Okay, what about how about how about the money I'm expecting? The two hundred and forty one thousand in the fake account. When are you expecting that? When are you expecting that? I, I need I need the money. Are you, are you going to help me to get that money? I will definitely help you to get that money, sir, but I need to know when are you expecting that, sir? I'm supposed to have gotten it. The money the money went into that fake account that you told me about. The guy the guy that was talking to me, I don't know his name. What's his name again? Uh, the guy you were talking to? Yeah, the first officer that spoke with me. The investigation officer. It's Henry Involti. Yes, he told me there's um, 241000 that was wired. So I'm expecting that money in my real account. Are you going to get okay. that money you, to me? Do you, okay, I understand, Mr. Benga, listen to me. Yes. The amount that you are talking about, $240,000, do you have that sort of amount? No. Where have you kept that money? In which account? I have $245 in my real account. But the, the, in the, which account? My own personal account with Chase Bank. Okay, with Chase Bank, you have a personal account? Yes, I have an account there. A, a checking account. It's a savings account. It's a checking account. Yes, And man. in this account, you have $240,000. Okay. You, no, no, no. I'm expecting $241,000. From where are you expecting this money? Such a huge amount. From where? From the federal government, from the United States government. Why do you be giving you such a big amount? Have you done any investment over there? Yeah, I'm a veteran, Babalao veteran. Okay, in that case, you're asking me money. See, we can go ahead and do that, okay? No, but I've already... Still, look, hold on. Let me explain to you, officer. Yes. You see the money that went into that fake account in my name? Uh -huh. That money uh -huh. is meant for me. Uh -huh, I understand. I'm supposed to use the money to buy my house and a truck. Uh -huh. So, okay. if the money has gone to a fake account, I was told you're going to help me to transfer it to my account. So, how are you going to do that? Yes. Now, we need to go ahead and do the investigation first, okay? And we find that, you know, this amount belongs to you. So, in next two days, you would get the amount back in your Chase checking account. Next two days? In next two days. Wow. Okay, what do I need to do? Please tell me what do I need to do. Who's, to, who's saying wow on the call while you're talking to me? Who's what? Who's saying wow? Nobody said wow. I'm the one that said wow. I'm the one that said wow. I just heard someone say wow on the call while you were talking to me. No, I said wow. I'm the one that said wow. <laughs> okay, now, sir, you do one thing. You you have uh, this amount in your account, right? Yes. Or do you have a cash? How much cash do you have now? Well, I have, uh, like, um, 140,300 140, in my seven. 140,000? Yeah, 300. I have that at all. Who's, who's talking, sir? Who's talking? I'm also the one talking. Yes, you have multiple. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm also. I'm the one talking. I'm watching a movie here on the TV. I, I just muted just now. Oh, you're watching TV. This TV more important than this case. 
Okay. I've just muted the TV. <laughs> okay, you have hundred and forty dollars, right? No, I have one hundred and forty thousand three hundred cash. One hundred forty thousand dollars cash with you? Yes, ma'am. Oh my God, that's a very big amount. What are you doing with such a big amount, sir? Well, I plan to buy. Uh, I don't... Can your TV is making noise? Uh, let me off the TV. Just break that TV. Okay. I plan to buy um, a yacht for my girlfriend. Uh, so you want to buy girlfriend. a yacht, okay? Yeah, I'm planning for to buy a... For your girlfriend? Yes. So... For your girlfriend, you're going to buy a yacht, okay? Yes, and um, we plan to go to um, uh, Miami for vacation. You're going to go to Miami uh, for vacation, okay? And um, Dubai. I I'm supposed to go to Dubai, too. You're going to you're going to go to Dubai? Dubai, yeah. United Arab Emirates. I know, UAE, right, right. Yes, I know UAE. that. Sir. So so do you have the receipt or any documentation for this hundred and forty thousand dollars? Well, I used to work. I, I, I sell things. I sell things. Because so, so, you need to understand this, okay? Tomorrow when the officers come, and if they read your house and if they see that this this big amount, the huge amount, is there no, with it's, you? It's right? my you safe. The money is in my safe. I have it in my safe. How? Your... Huh, what? I have the money in my safe. In my personal safe. safe. In, your... in your house only, right? Yes, in my vault. I have a vault at home. I understand that it's a home world that you have the money. Will, will they but be taking example, the cash from me? Do they want to take the cash? Uh, no, they will not take the cash, but you need to understand, you know, you cannot keep the, such a big amount at your place because there's a money laundering case with, uh, which is, uh, you know, uh, the, on, on your name. So first of all, what we would be doing, sir, okay, first we can go ahead and safeguard your $200, $245, okay? Okay. So is there any Walgreens nearby you? You said Walgreens is nearby, right? Yes, there's a Wal Walgreens nearby, just like three meters. Okay. I, can, I can drive there. Three meters? Three About, miles? Yes, uh, three miles. That's one I... Okay, no, there's another one, 1. 1.7. You just seven. said three meters. No, one, there's another one, 1. 1.7 miles. But the, the 1. first... 1.7 miles. Yeah. Okay, listen to me. You have to go to Walgreens, okay? You have to purchase a voucher, okay? Worth of $250, okay? And you have to keep these vouchers with yourself. Tomorrow when the officers will be coming, you have to just show the vouchers. They will be scanning the vouchers and providing you with a cashier check of $300, okay? Okay. So you want me now, to... Give, you, you, you want me to give them the voucher or what? Yes, you need to give the vouchers to the... Uh, officers, they would be scanning the vouchers and giving you a ca uh, cashier check of $300. Okay. What do I do next? Okay. Next is nothing. In the Are you dressed up right now to go out to Walgreens? Well, um, I'm not wearing clothes. I just need to wear my clothes and, and go. But I'll, I'll have to you lock my door. Nice... You have to look for your dogs? I'll have to look for my dogs and take them along. I have dogs why, at home. Why would you take the dog with you? Oh, well, they used to help me go around. Okay, so you can do one thing, okay? You can just keep you on the speaker mode, get dressed up, okay? Carry your, uh, the debit card of Chase bag and your dog too, okay? And walk towards Walgreen. You have to keep the line active. So you want me to be on the phone That's with you? Yes, you need to be on the line with me because the lines are getting recorded. And does your dog wear a mask? I'm sorry? What did you say? Well, does your dog wear a mask? My dog wear a mask? Uh-huh. Okay. Um, it's COVID-19, you cannot go out with that mask. Okay, so when I get the car, what do I need to do, please? May you get down? What are you saying? What do I need to do when I get the card? Which of the card? I'll you tell you. I'll tell you what you have to do when you go to Walgreens, okay? First, get ready and go to Walgreens. First, get ready, sir. I'll guide you step by step. Okay. So I go to Walgreens, get a card. Which of the cards should I get? <laughs> I'll tell you the names of the cards. What cards do you know, sir? I know of Western Union and the MasterCard. Western I know. Union has a card. Does Western Union has cards? And um, Amazon... Okay. Uh, Amazon, okay. Yeah, no, 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 and, um, no, Amazon. 
more Western Union. Which one do you say? I need to get the approval from the courthouse people, okay? So I don't know which vouchers you have to collect, okay? I'll let you know that on the later part, but first go, get ready, and go to rush to Wal Walgreens. Okay. Keep me on the speaker mode. On the speaker mode? Yes, and get dressed up. You need to get dressed, you said, right? Yeah, I need to get dressed because you I'm not wearing any clothes. You're not wearing any clothes? Yes. Okay. So, first of all, keep me on the speaker mode and get dressed up, okay? Okay, what's your name again? Officer My name Sal is Shirley Morris. Okay. All right. Um, so, I'm just... Um, let me, hold on. Let me let me go and get dressed up, please. Sure, sir. I wish you are here. You'll have helped me, you know. Sorry? I said, I wish you are here. You could have helped me. I could have helped you in what? To go and get a card from Walgreens or help you to dress up. I'll, I'll guide you. I'll guide you for how you, to do that. I'm there with you on the line. To help me to put on the clothes? No, no, how can I? Aren't you talking much, sir? This is going way too far. Okay, you know, I'm just talking about, you know, my girlfriend is not around. And, um, the way I'm not your girlfriend to talk to me all this, okay? I'm not your girlfriend. No, I'm just saying if, if, if you are here, you could have helped me. Do you think this is, this is a federal call and the calls are getting recorded? You're talking rubbish on this call? Oh, oh, sorry, I forgot I'm being recorded. Sorry, hold on, please. Yes. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me go and dress up. Yes. All right, sorry, officer. No problem, well, this is how the Olori Burukus used to. <laughs> it's oh my god! But it, but it, it's a oh my god! I can't just stop laughing! Look at these criminals! <laughs> Philip, can you imagine? <laughs> what the fuck? This. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I put it on the speaker. You said I, I should put it on the speaker. Keep you on the speaker, just get dressed up. And once you leave the house, just tell me, Miss Morris, I am leaving the house and going to Walgreens. Right? You know, yeah? I'm, I'm very big, I have obesity. So if I'm wearing my trousers, I'm going to be making some sound. Do you want to be hearing those sounds? No, I, I don't like sounds, sir. I don't like sounds. I don't like sounds. You don't like sound, okay? Like groanings, you no. know? Uh, no, you know what? You're just an idiot person, Mr. Benga. Then you're a fucking idiot. scammer. You're a fucking bastard. Don't you ever call my line again. Oh, Lordy, you call Daniel. Koni dafu yala ku ya eh. Baba e ma kuda rini. Oh, Lordy, you call. Do you know the meaning of kuda? Wobi. Anyway, it's good you've been recorded live and everyone is hearing you how you and your brothers in Indian are trying to uh, do people in America. You're the fucking stupid idiot. Look, you need to come around. All right? Okay? Shut up! Bye bye! Bye bye! I'm sorry to say, you are a scammer. You are, you are a scammer. Eh? You want to scam Niger? Odinda for it. It's gone. It's on fire. That's how they scam people, you know? These are India scamming. And uh, they don't know that we are Nigerians. <laughs> Nobody can scam Nigeria. Oh my God! No. Indians scamming Nigeria, life and direct. Oh, this is serious. <laughs> Indian people scamming Nigerians. I've never seen this before. Oh my God! For that matter, what the fuck? You, you know what? They were asking some money, went into your account, illegal money, and now it turns to money laundry. Imagine that. I'm an Indian. So why are they all speaking like that? Oh my God! Everybody just try to. <laughs> oh my God! Akinola <laughs> Oluadare, do you want to come on camera? I can <laughs> have you. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Guys, come on. Let's contribute. Let's say something. Akinola Oluadare, some people are sending me an invite, and I'm going to have you. Ah, Zinab, Zinab Adeyemi is online. Thank you very much. This is what is happening. Yeah, like, please. <laughs> oh my God, my Hello, God. boss. <laughs> See, Indians, Indians, they are the biggest scammers in the US. Yeah, they are. They are. Very good. Yeah. As in, only one, only one duty, one. Oh, no. <laughs>
I get I get calls from them every now and then. Every really? now and then. Trying to be what they are not. Yes. What do you yeah. mean that? <laughs> so I don't I don't understand what's wrong with them. Okay, <laughs> this is interesting, but I think that the population yeah. is alarming and they also yeah. they have a lot of issues with unemployment. The government is yeah. trying to project. So, but, but I don't know. I don't know why they they, they proceed themselves as recruiters and and so many stuff like that. I don't understand. Yeah, I think the reason is because you know Indian like was like a hub of technology in the world. So a lot okay. of people um, they are like an. Like I'm expert, sorry for that break in transmission. In terms of um, what's it called, okay. customer care service, they are very good okay. in customer relations, like speaking, yeah, supporting people back up. So they got expertise from all of those, um, how they talk to people, getting to understand <laughs> psychology. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, several yeah. times, several mm -hmm. times they would tell me I have issues with my SSN, yes. I have issues with this, I have issues with that. I don't know. Who go no? No one look. Who go no? All I'm telling you, they just mm -hmm. say you have issue with your SSN. Mm -hmm. Can I have your SSN? Yeah. Can I have this? You have issue with your lines. Mm -hmm. So many strategies mm -hmm. they're trying to. Exactly. Use. I think Okoyemi also is online. Let's try if we can have uh, Okoyemi as well, so we can hear from Okoyemi. Okay, but I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna be asking. Um, how we've been because i think a lot of us from nigerians that are very gullible we fall into the trap of this 419 you know? <laughs> yeah so yeah a lot of people had four victims mm -hmm. several times yes but they any meeting so exactly. i don't so i hardly once i hear their voice i've been so conversant with their voice yeah the intonation of the universal of the americana i would know mm -hmm. so once i don't have any issue with my ssn mm -hmm. so i don't have to provide it for them so i don't have you know, you know what they will mm -hmm. tell you your credit card is blocked yes your credit card is this yes that yes <laughs> and they strategically wow. extracting information from you if you give them yeah information, if you give them gone. anything they are they are very very good very technical they should come and learn from us <laughs> can you imagine that any two more people, yeah, one in New York can be also one of your strings. And they were asking for the zip code of the area. We have okay. to go online to get a zip code <laughs> posting and then try okay. to give the um, only the um, Bank of America close to us. We have to go online okay. and get the Bank of America that is close to the zip code that generates online. That's it. Okay. If you're not smart. If you mistakenly give any one or two, anything, all your money is gone. You know, there was this day, you see. I have a scenario. There was this day I I wanted to go to Indianapolis. So yeah. more more book a flight mm. on uh, America Airlines. Yeah. So I didn't have issue with my flight. So more of a change more of a, more, more of a change of flight me. So they had to tell me that I have to pay with my credit card. Okay, I said fine. Now, but I must be India alone by so, and I, I needed that change urgently. So I, I provided my, my credit card number, or uh, the years is going to expire, and all the details you understand. But we must be sure to buy it. We will pay ha. So we should pay American Express in the lolly So I just had to. We must be sure to buy. I just had to go and block my. Credit card because more people might say provide the book data. Me for you, I just have to go and block it. Okay, so send me everything now. Change so by the only rest of mine. I swear to God, I think we all need to be very smart, you know. Oh, my have to be very smart because people say, Picking me, see one lower by more. No, I can't sleep that night. More, I'll be mad of war, woman, low, yes, by that. Do you know the one that is going on now on um, from Nigeria? In Nigeria, they will tell you that there is an investment only a loru kokon okpo yemi ekin investment. We have to send hundred thousand naira. See, under forty five minutes, one credit take will two hundred thousand.
<laughs> a lot of Nigerians are very gullible because we gullible. Yeah. So people start yeah. Thomas to yeah. send Tonti yeah. hike account on you. Tonti share information yet then a lot of people they start putting in money. You want to drop your money, expecting a miracle money <laughs> for the five minutes. Order for the five minutes, imagine. You can't get any money back. You so can't. You what can't. What is money here? Oh, they invest in Bitcoin, Kori, 100%. Yeah, hey, Bitcoin, Forex, oh, they you, know, you, you can't see you that, do that such percentage yeah. of I cryptocurrency return. sometimes online. And yeah. instead of you making profit, it's going to crash. Because at this yes, point, now, oh, my, my crash, you know, even Bitcoin, you return on investments, you can't see how you, yeah. you can't get that within so 45 that, minutes. They are all fraudulent people. But yes, now, but I want you to talk about it on your phone. That's sure. not a simple logic about life. Sure. There is no shortcut to success. No shortcut. There is none. No, no shortcut. You just have to follow the the, mm -hmm. the trade. You're going to work it up. Me. There's sure. no shortcut. Mm -hmm. But if you want shortcuts, you're going to be scammed. That's, that's it. it. Sure. So that's it. Thank you so, so I have to go now. I have to yeah. go now. I have a class now. All right, then. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. 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 So, guys, um, as this is it we're just discussing with people let's hear from your experience um if you've had interactions with all these scammers if they've tried to dupe you what are your experience like so christiana is also online let's try and bring christiana um to share with us some of the experience with these scammers either on facebook on instagram or calling you um if you have any experience with any of these people let's hear from you okay so um if you want to share you can share with us and you can also share this video if you like it but the point is do not give your accurate information to anybody even if they are calling you from nigeria and somebody called to say yeah i'm calling from your bank your bvn has a problem and if they are calling you to ask you for any information do not give them the right information give them fake numbers fake account number fake bank if you have a bank with gt bank tell them you have bank uh, account with uh, Polaris Bank or give them um, UBA. Do not give them your accurate bank information and the account number. Give them fake account number. If they ask you, they want to know your accurate BVN number so that they can help you, it will not be blocked. Do not give them your BVN number. Do not give them any accurate detail because if they get anything right, either your account number, your phone number, your date of birth, or your PVN number, oh my honestly, in less than 24 hours, they can wipe out all the money in your account because there's an advanced technology that these guys are using. And with this advanced technology, all they need to process into those information is just information. So whenever they process information into those computer systems, it's going to generate and give them all the things they need to know. And with that, they can transfer your money, they can take your money out, okay? So, um, uh, okay, and me, I think okay, and me want to come online as well. Let me try and see uh, who else want to come online. Yes, okay, and me. Okay, I'm calling you right away. Let's get it full from you. They cheer, they cheer. <laughs> Hello, my brother. <laughs> ah, I can view all the way. They, they go down. Eh, she down. Eh, she down. Eh, she down. I follow you. Eh, I want to be. Um, one the bar machine man so kinetic. We take bungu mafek bera lossy boro. Chemo, a good book, but what's he in? Am I the car? Oh, you're not by me like Baron Long. Ha! Brother, what do I share briefly like five experiences? Five. Number one, recently a program, a case called Lolo, I mean Abuja. Okay. Case called Lolo was 65 million. What? My call, he cannot write, he cannot read. Okay. But I'm asking the audio recording. 
There is a program, I'm a program to put on Nigeria. They call it Bracket Family. Yeah, I know Bracket. Yeah. Um, we can have a program. Any yes. So, so okay, she transaction from Oka check pay. Ki won ba on son wo fe niye. Maybe about, maybe five million or there about. Toma, one kon de bank e, one niko lo, one niko lo, one niko so, Mobe, so, apart from the outside uh, frosters, there are many frosters yeah. even in the banking system. Mm. So, after all the said and done, one shak be ni e sha, one gbe, one, one lo pa gbe, one detail. So, after some time, to jade, one wa lo petition, he have some simple, only about 65 million, but one lo kwe ko show, one no account on. Hmm. After all said and done, to cut the long story short, I want FCC need they couldn't discover anything. So one suggest for my cool law get the forensic expert come. So forensic expert in Lua unveil Google secret and yes, she were collect as a CBN. So I then CBN that you recover part of the money, but not all. But there is particular senior uh of so they will make sure they recover her. Okay. But the discoveries are as follows. Number one, Anton um, had in my yes. What is your weakness? The man is an illiterate based on the fact that he cannot read or write. Mm -hmm. So what's of my bobo silly company come co letter paper wa then co Co coaching books or down, then co coaching signature same very simple signature. Tomali so, Ford. Because I come out, because I come out, so I come out the Ford yeah, but only so that I make it easy for anybody to have a boo or something. So, but if I hear woman now, education is power. So yeah. the man complied and gave everything to the account officer. Hmm. But the it was discovered that any time Tima and Boya Tima and Bagbo in Lagos, for example, yeah. the same time Bo in Lagos, no man Bagbo ni Abuja. What? So when Bo in Sokoto, the same moment, no man Bagbo in Boya Baesa, and the same so, amount. Yes. Yeah, so Kosibi, what's that Bagbo Bo in Eton? In short, then we had discovered. Thank God for that forensic expert. May God bless him. All this covered part of the award by they pay to a particular company. When they trace the owner of that company, it was the uh what do they call it? The um, the person in charge of the account. Uh, so that was one of the evidence that nailed the bank because the bank initially denied it. So you can even see that the, the account officer, many of them are dubious. Of course, many of yeah. them. So even when you are keeping your money in the bank, you have to be vigilant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. You have to be vigilant. Not only that, there is this case, Emma Kujé now in Abuja. Yeah, Kujé, yeah. I know Kujé. Yeah. No woman, he only go salary, but you to go go salary less than boy at forty. On she check by the one school. Kisa ma fura gunsha. Oja ni be fifteen thousand. You know I can't. Be on she peni ye. Ah, on peni ye. Lo ba ni ke ah. Who is this money from the bank? Baby VNF block. Eh, so woman, any any you say worry? Go attend to see any talk we hear. Oh, I lost the bank. Oh, I lost of whom account of his own bank. We can't block account. Oh, we only need it. Can't block it. So account of the one know there is no need. If they call you, there is no need. So subsequently, but she went here. Want to pay again after some days. So, but the account of his own that is of whom we come and worry. So, but she down here to the phone go details, account, everything. I want to get what one of you want to the charge card almost 15,000. The 15,000 to that woman is like 15 million. 
That's true. <laughs> so when you told somebody close to me, I said the only way is simple. Just go to that bank and ask yeah. that cashier account officer to pay all the money. Yeah. You understand yeah. that you pay all the money. But if they don't pay, because the account officer was the one that guaranteed the woman that she should not bother about closing the account. That's so true. if the if the account officer fail to pay back the money, we'll mm -hmm. take it up. Yes. So I didn't even show up. I, the woman, they, they now took the case to the manager of that bank. So, and it was discovered. I don't want to mention that bank. It's a popular bank, a bank with elephants. So before you know it, sir, the account officer had to pay. Yeah. She, she, because, yeah. Yeah, because that, what I'm also bringing out is that there is every possibility that some of the bank officials have link. They they dive. You know, you said something after the video with that uh, India froster that yes. uh, we should not give our details to these no. people. Yes. But you you we we our details are with the bankers. Of so course. what can we do? That's my own concern because okay. all the information are with them. So, so what, what, can we do? what I'm going to tell everybody is that when anybody call you, either they are genuine or not, even if it's the bank, the bank doesn't have right to call any customer. No bank have right to call you and ask you information about your account because they already have details about your account. So every customer is supposed to have an account officer. Your account officer is supposed to be somebody you know and that know you one-on-one. -on -one. Either you have the number of the account officer and somebody you can interact with. So, if they need to get information from you, the information need to pass to you through your account officer, who will call you, and you will see the number save on your phone, or the person will mention his name and tell you the bank, the branch. And what they need to tell you is that, please, come over to the bank and fix ABC. They cannot tell you to give them your PVN, your account number, your date of birth. All of those things are confidential information, and they are not supposed to be released. Like, I know in Nigeria, there is data and um, information protection act that criminalizes anybody as talking private information from individual. And also in the United States, when you make use of people's data or like their basic information to extort them, of course, all of this is subject to about seven years imprisonment because it's a federal crime. And also in Nigeria, it's a federal crime. But a lot of us are not aware of those things. And when people call us randomly on phone, we trust them like we want to give out information. So they did the same thing to my dad. You know, I, I transferred money to my dad. And that's the week, you know, somebody called my dad and said, um, his VPN number uh, is, is going to be blocked. And then he can't be able to access his account. And he needs, and the man was like, oh, and they called him in the night. This call came in past 6 p.m. So when they call him in the night, the man was like, okay, okay. They, were, they keep pestering him, calling him, and then he gave them all the details. They gave, he, he gave them his bed, said, uh, bed, date of birth, his BVN number, his account number, because they don't have all of those things. All these fraud stars, they don't have any of your details. The only thing they have is your phone number. And they get your phone number randomly. There's a lot of app that I can install on my system or my phone. And this app, when I put your name, or I just generate any name, it will generate everybody that have a similar name to that name. And then it's going to give me where they are living in terms of their location, either their state, and it's going to give me their phone number or email address, depending on whatever you put. So how do people get this information on the app? The information goes on those apps because you have either registered for BVN or you've registered for National ID Card or you've registered for... So okay, if you sir. register for any national identity or any information, oh, yeah. definitely all your information is going to go to a central server. And that central server is supposed to be protected by the federal government. But of course, those data are curious because our government does not have um, the capacity. And they are very careless with the data of the citizens. Because, you know, some of the agencies or contractors that they give this contract of national ID card 
or driver license to. They are not even government um, agencies. And there is no, they are not enforcing the law to say that those data should not be sold. So these agencies, many times, they sell your data to companies, to uh, private firms, so that they can be able to send you, um, what is it called, adverts. You know, that's why sometimes you get unsolicited adverts on your phone or your email because the data have been sold. So, and that is how these people generate your phone number or your email address. So, when they try and they reach you, they don't have your account number. They don't even know the bank you are banking with. They don't even know your BBN number. So, it is not left for you to give them any of those things. And when you give them, you are completing their work. You are making it perfect for them to be able to complete anything they want to do online. So my dad, the next day, called me and said, he went to the bank, he used his ATM, he checked his account, all the money is gone. And I was like, that's Lagos for you. You know, you are supposed to be a Baba of Lagos State. So why will you be there? Why will you do that? How can some people call you 7 p.m. or 8 or 9? No bank officers call anybody from 5 p.m. They are not supposed to call you. And even if they call you in the morning, they're not supposed to ask you any information. If I call you and I know you, I should be telling you the specific bank that you have an account with. I don't be calling you and be saying, hey, what's the name of your, um, give me your BBN number. When you give me and I ask your account number, and then I say the bank, and then you mention the specific bank. So give them a fake number. Give them fake account number. Give them fake BBN. Give them fake bank details. When you do that, you confuse them the more. We were able to spend up to like 30 minutes with these guys, you know, heading them into old stage, giving them fake information and trying to, because if we do not hold them to old stage, they will spend that 30 minutes to address gullible people who are very selfish, who at the end of the day will end up giving them the right information and they will the So, um, I think, I think, I think you're right, sir. sir, before I drop so that I can allow others to call in, sir. Uh, yes. I think precisely about eight days ago, or thereabout, I don't know, it was weekend. I think that day was on Saturday or thereabout. So I received a call. You know, uh, the person he greeted me. He said, am I so, so, so? I said, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about their strategies on WhatsApp now. Yes, okay. No. So, so I want to plead with everybody, please, Ensure you have double uh, a two-step protection. Yes. Uh, don't be uh, It's very important. Uh, so now he asked of my name. I said, okay, good. That, that means he got my name because that was the name I used on the true caller. Okay. So he got it. And I was the one because I've been trained as an ICT strategist for, okay. for a quite a long period of time. So immediately his call came in and the way he called my name, I smiled. I said, let me waste his credit small. So I, I, I just play along. So he, he told me, he said, uh, there is a program coming up in the evening. He called me around 12. He said, the program, the only what they need is that they have sent a particular code to me that I should just minimize my phone and send the code back to him that uh, he will, even if I don't have time, and he mentioned the group, there is a particular group I belong to. We have ministers. The Minister of Federal Republic is inside that particular WhatsApp group. So we have some uh, directors. So, and uh, I, I kept on smiling. So he told me, I said, what's the name? He mentioned one Ausa name, but from intonation, I know he's a real Yoruba guy. So I kept, he didn't know that I've been in the North for close to 25 years. So I yeah. know the, the internet. So I kept on smiling. So after about 15 minutes, <laughs> 15, 15 good minutes, he was forced to speak Yoruba. He said, you know, you know, I can waste credit to me. <laughs> I kept on saying, bro, you are a learner. You go and walk, go and get work. I said, for exactly. 15 minutes. That's what he confessed. He said, bros, no work, but that's why he's doing that. I said, can't you go and be carrying blocks? If you it's carry... Not, it's not an excuse. It's not an it's excuse. excuse. If, you, if you carry... To, uh, I have many... I remember when I finished my NYC, and yeah. uh, there was no job immediately. I worked with primary... I mean, with a, a private um, secondary school. And from that 
point, I learned how to relate with the community. In fact, how much was my salary that time? But the students in that school, they connected me with their parents. I had so much money every month. Extra mora, extra mora. I remember whoever is saying that is into crime because there is that person. Even if such individual get a job with presidency or federal or state, that person will still be a man criminal. Criminality, you know, you are, there's no excuse for criminality. So I told him, I said, bros, this thing you are doing, one day we just discover that you are a dead body. You are dead because you are a criminal. I said, to him, I said, because you are a criminal, God can never answer your prayer. That if not that I am intelligent and I have understanding of the ICT, you will have, you, I, I will have fallen into your hand. So I said, please go and get job done. Even if there is no work. So let me give an example of something that happened in Baeza when I was in Baeza. There was this guy that studied, um, he was an, an architect. So there was no job. But you know what this guy was doing, sir? He would go to wherever there are potholes. He would go and buy chippies. He would buy stone. He would buy this cement. Then you will see him, wherever there are potholes on the highway, he will carry the tools. He will, lo he will, he will do it faithfully. So there is no day I pass by seeing that man that I will not pray for him. And any time I have little with me at that time, I will make sure I drop with him and encourage him. Of recent, I asked of him, they said he has gotten a job with oil company. Wow. Even if there is a job, volunteer to be engaged. And I do, and I do, and I do mind. And I, I do and is a workshop of criminality. I don't know whether you are getting it, sir. Yeah, I am. So, so yeah, yeah, thank you so much. Let me for take a of you. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you very much, sir. I'm All grateful, right. sir. Thank All you, thank right. you. Yeah. So, uh, guys, what we are saying is that even if there's no job, it's not an excuse for you to be a fraud star. You can actually be creative. You could be creative using other means. You can um, organize, like, um, evening classes. Um, you can coordinate to have other friends of yours who are also looking for a job to organize a lesson. Um, you can talk to your pastors, the pastors of your church, to provide space for you in the church to organize lesson. All you need to do is to print out flyers and talk to people, even members of your church. You can engage their parents to say, uh, look, bring your child for uh, this lesson. Let them pay you a token. And with that, you can engage yourself, engage your mind. And while you do that, I think it's going to be very productive. You'll be able to make some money. People don't just want to volunteer. They don't want to start somewhere. And that's why everywhere, there's Fuana everywhere. Everybody is trying to make a quick money. It's not the best. So if you have an experience to share with um, regards to um, fraud star duping people or duping you or attempting to dupe you, you can come online. Call in. I'm going to invite you. I have my sister here, Beju, from um, uh, Canada. I'm going to invite Beju to give me a um, contribution. Okay? If you are here, you can come online. Just give me one minute. I'll be back. Okay, so yes, you can come online. Um, thank you, Mr. Okoyemi, for that wonderful contribution. That was really worth it. So that's why we're doing this. And if nobody is coming online, Jerry, Guama, thanks for coming online. Ikechuku, uh, thanks for coming online. If you guys want to join, you can call on. You can call in. Uh, if not, I think this video is long overdue. Uh, tomorrow or next time, I'm going to be with you again uh, to share experience of reality of things happening around us with every one of you. Uh, we just talked about uh, four and nines who are duping people. I have my friend with me, uh, T-Baby Omoba. She's princess, and then she's going to come online to discuss with us some of our experience about these fraud styles, especially these Indian people who are calling people to ask about social security information, um, your bank details and all of that. So I'm inviting Princess to share with us 
some of our um, experiences so that people can learn from it. Thank you very much for coming online and thank you for accepting to be here, princess. Oh my God, you are not ready. Okay. Thank you. So, um, my sister, now some Indian people, they were calling my friend, not me. They called my friend today and they were asking him that there's a lot of money um, in his account. They did a transfer, international transfer and all that, all that. So, of course, he was smart enough to recognize that they are fraud star. And because we've been watching a lot of these things online. So, uh, we just decided to go on, li on live immediately so that we can share this uh, story with people. And um, we, we succeeded in wasting their time uh, successfully. But I think that this is part of service to humanity because a lot of people are going to learn from this and learn how to be smart. So one key point that we've said is that when anybody call you, either from social security office or from the bank or from FBI or whatsoever, do not give them your accurate details. So-called FBI. So, so call FBI, so they say. If they call you to give, ask you about your name, your date of birth, my friend gave his name as Akbenga Akboda okay, or Denier, yeah. you know? So that's the name he gave. And he gave his last four social uh, security number as 0419. So, and those are like code that is supposed to make those people to understand that uh, the person they are talking to is a very smart person. So, No, so, Emi Omobiti, Indian, Totima Dupom, Nigeria, could possible. Oh, you are driving. Okay. So, if you are driving, you cannot come online because you need to concentrate. Okay. So, um, anybody that want to come online to share experience with us, please, you can come online. I'm going to invite you. Call in. Call in. Call in. Call in. Let's hear from you. There's a lot that is going on right now in Nigeria. A lot of people, different investments. They will just call it one name. Prospect investment, uh, success investment, favor investment. And they say, ah, they've paid me. Imagine somebody that you've not talked to for more than five years, six years, seven years, or somebody that I've never even chatted with you online. Because the person is your friend and their accounts have been hiked. Then they will just appear from nowhere and say, hey, I just said I should do this. I did a business with these people. They've paid me. Oh, it's true. It's better than other. Who asked them? Who asked them for those information? You know? And then they will ask you, uh, come and do this transaction. This is the number of the woman. She's the one that uh, under 45 minutes. Your money will be. Yeah. Ontario, yeah. Ontario. So, Ontario. and uh, they are doing um, cryptocurrency and uh, it's bullshit. It's all bullshit. And it's all wafa. On Luma Rufu. So, in your Nigeria, at Bogwe, you Femi online. Hey, jump to the law. Emma War, or one, one, four, one, nine. And when you have friends on your Facebook list, um, who also accommodate all of those stuff like I'm on your they are posting bullshit and about saying money I delete them I block them that's what I do so if you have any friends who accommodate all of those things delete and block them right away I don't care I don't want to know if you can allow people to post those trash on your profile on your wall and you kept looking at it like I don't know them or they are from one I'm gonna block you I don't send you because you should be wise enough uh to be able to take these things out if you're not part of them so there's no point accommodating fraud stars or fraudulent people. They are going to defraud your friends, your family members who respect you, who think that you are a very good person. And because of the relationship they built with you, they are going to trust these scammers around. So we all need to be very careful. Uh, that is it. All right. Thank you so very much. And God bless you. See you some other good time. Bye.